Today I'm going to talk about one of my favourite drinks in the world, the Picante della Casa. We're going to talk about the origin and evolution of the drink, how to make it, and then how to make the most banging coffee cocktail inspired by the Picante, the Espresso Picante. If you love tequila, spicy drinks, smoky drinks, or coffee, obviously, then you're going to love this, so let's make some coffee cocktails. Welcome back to the Coffee Cocktail channel everyone. I'm Dan Fellows and today we're going to be talking about a cocktail called the Picante or the Picante della Casa for the full name. And then at the end of the video we're going to make the most epic coffee cocktail, the Espresso Picante. So you can trace back the origins of the Picante to the Margarita, which is obviously a delicious cocktail which everyone knows and loves, made with 50 mils of tequila, 25 mils of Cointreau, and 25 mils of lime juice, shaken up over ice and then served in a coupe glass or a martini glass with a little salt rim. Super delicious drink, everyone loves it, but this has kind of evolved over time into a few different variations. So one of my favourite variations of the margarita is Tommy's margarita. So this is a twist on the classic margarita using agave syrup in place of the Cointreau and also not usually using a salt rim. So the recipe for a Tommy's margarita is going to be four parts of your spirit and I tend to go with about 50ml of tequila, two parts citrus which I go for 25ml of lime juice and one part of your sweetener which is an agave syrup which I go with 12.5ml. Again, this is all shaken up, but this time it's served in a rocks glass over ice and it's a super refreshing kind of sweet and sour twist on a margarita. If you take your Tommy's margarita and incorporate chili and coriander, you're left with the Picante della Casa and this is the cocktail we're going to be talking about today. So the recipe for this would be a handful of chili to your tolerance. You can add more or less depending on how much spice you like, a handful of coriander. But if you hate coriander, don't add coriander. You can use mint or even parsley and both work really well. 50 mils of your spirit, which is going to be a tequila, 25 mil of freshly squeezed lime juice, and 12.5 mil of your agave syrup. Again, two parts agave to one part water. Shake this up hard over ice, and then fine strain into a frozen rocks glass with ice. It's a super delicious drink, and if you've never tried this before, I strongly recommend you do. So this particular cocktail, the Picante Della Casa, is very popular in Soho house sites. So if ever you've been there, you'll have seen them floating around, and they're the most epic drinks. They're like a cult phenomenon. So the Picante Della Casa is a delicious drink, but an espresso martini is also a delicious drink. And these two things come together really nicely. So to make an espresso picante, we're going to need espresso, tequila and mezcal, which ideally are frozen, your two to one agave syrup, smoked saline made with one part smoked salt to five parts water, ancho reyes, which is a chili liqueur, but you can also use freshly sliced chili if you don't have ancho reyes, a handful of coriander or your herb of choice, an acid solution. And then for garnish a little bit more coriander, a little bit of fresh chili and some lime. So bar tools wise we're going to need a Boston shaker, a jigger, a strainer and a fine strainer. So if you don't have all these tools I'll link them below in the description so you can pick them up for yourselves if you need them. So let's make the espresso picante. So into the shaker we're going to go with our double espresso which I freshly brewed just now. And this is actually a Mexican coffee. So if you don't have a Mexican coffee that's totally fine but a Mexican coffee ties in really nicely. It's brewed with 18 grams of coffee for a 40 gram yield in the style of a Slayer shot, but you can use standard espresso for this and it'll be still super delicious. If you're not familiar with a Slayer shot, I'll link a video above, which you can check out to see how to make this. So this 40 grams of espresso and the rest of the recipe uses the template from my ultimate espresso martini recipe, which I will link above. And it kind of plays on this, adapts it to a completely different flavor profile. So to the 40 grams of espresso, we need our spirits, which is gonna be a total of 40 mils, but we're not just adding one spirit, we're actually gonna be adding two. So fresh out the freezer, we have tequila and mezcal. And rather than just adding one spirit, we're gonna blend these together. So the tequila brings a really nice kind of roundness and the base of the drink and a little bit of natural sweetness, which we're getting 30 mils of. And then to this, we're gonna go 10 mils of mezcal. So the mezcal brings a little bit of smokiness, a little bit of rawness, but not too much. And it kind of balances out really nicely with the tequila. And the reason both of these are frozen is we don't want to over dilute our espresso picante, which is a variation of an espresso martini. So keeping these nice and cold, but using a hot espresso balances it all really nicely. So when we shake over ice, we'll get a really nice final result. Next up, we want our sweetener. Again, sticking to our espresso martini template. We're gonna go 15 mils of agave syrup with two parts agave nectar to one part hot water, just so it's nice and pourable. And then the final ingredient from our espresso martini inspiration would be salt. So usually I'd add a saline solution with one part salt to five parts water. 
but today I'm going with a smoked saline. And I'm actually only adding half as much as I usually would, so half a gram, because we're going to be adding a salt rim to the glass. So in that goes, and now we can start riffing. So we've got our foundation in the glass, now we want to start adding our kind of picante notes to the drink. So when we think back to what a picante is, it's essentially a Tommy's margarita with chili and coriander. So now we want to add chili and coriander to the drink, and I'm going with ancho reyes. So I'm going 15 mils of this, and this is pretty damn spicy. It's very delicious, but do watch out, I would not have a shot of this. If you don't have ancho reyes, you can slice up some fresh red chili, which you can keep in the freezer to keep it nice and fresh, and this will have a very similar result. But I like the ancho reyes because you can really control the spice level of the drink. If you use fresh chili, make sure you check the spiciness level so you don't blow your head off. You know how it is. And then finally, I want to add a small handful of coriander. I actually quite like to weigh this, like a weirdo, I guess. But because coriander is such a bold flavour, kind of peppery, very distinctive, I like to add around about three grams to the drink and no more. And again, like I say, if you want to add mint instead of coriander, because some people absolutely despise coriander, that's totally fine. It'll be a little bit fresher, a little bit more vibrant, but still very much delicious. And then the final ingredient, which does deviate from the espresso martini template quite widely, is an acid solution. So this is made with four grams of citric acid, two grams of malic acid, topped up to 100 grams with boiling water, and I'm adding 15 mils of this. And this just brings a little bit of balance to the drink because we've got the sweetness from the agave, sweetness from the espresso, a little bit of sweetness from the liqueur, and you want a little bit of brightness and vibrancy just to kind of mimic the lime juice, which we've got in the Tommy's Margarita and the classic Picante. So you could use lime juice for this, but I like the acid solution just because I find it harmonizes a little bit better and doesn't offset the coffee and the lime, which kind of clash with each other a little bit, but still perfectly fine. And now, shake it over ice. So pop that across and really do give it a very, very good shake. You really need it for this drink. So I actually like to strain this into a rocks glass with ice, which I've actually rimmed with a little bit of smoked salt. So I just rimmed the glass with lime, then the smoked salt, and it brings a really nice kind of smokiness and saltiness, obviously, but just really ties the drink together nicely. So rather than serving this straight up, like many espresso martinis, I'm actually serving this over ice. And when I think back to the creator of the espresso martini, Dick Bradsall, he also had a variation called a pharmaceutical stimulant. And essentially this was an espresso martini in a rocks glass over ice. And this just works really nicely, more like a picante. To garnish the drink, we're gonna go for the holy trinity, chili, lime, and coriander. The lime's there in case you want to add a little bit more acidity to the drink which some people might do. This goes like so. The chili, fresh out of my freezer. Just again, if you want to add a little bit more heat to the drink, you can rim the glass with the chili. And then I just like to boil up a little bit of coriander just to bring a little bit of aroma to the drink. And there we have what I think is an absolute banger of a drink. Two exceptional drinks coming together to create something truly beautiful. The espresso picante. Cheers. It's so delicious. It's spicy, it's smoky, it's sweet and sour. Loads of tequila in there, loads of coffee flavor. It's super complex. You've got the kind of herbal notes from the coffee and also from the coriander, obviously. It's just a very, very good combination. So to recap the recipe, we have double espresso, 40 grams, ideally Mexican, but anything with kind of a citrus forward flavor. A little bit of chocolate in there is fine as well. We've got 30 mils of frozen tequila, 10 mils of frozen mezcal, 15 mil of agave syrup, and 0.5 grams of our smoked saline. Finished off with 15 mils of ancho reyes, or sliced chili if you prefer, a handful of coriander, or your herb of choice, and then 15 mils of our acid solution. Shake it up over ice, and you've got the espresso picante. I'm gonna have another sip. It's so good. So if you wanna make this drink at home, I'll link all the ingredients below, should you wanna pick them up, and also let me know how it goes. Follow me on Instagram at damnfellows1 to let me know how this goes or you can pop it in the comments. And if you want to watch more espresso martini riffs, I will put one of my favourites here, which is the Tropical Espresso Martini, and more coffee cocktail videos just down here. Subscribe to the channel, which I'll put here, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.